What is up, Karatex? So as most of you may know by now, with the introduction of the brand new San Andreas Mercenaries DLC, Rockstar has removed almost 200 cars from the in-game websites. Rockstar's reasoning for this was to supposedly, and I quote, streamline the browsing experience, when they could have just put a search bar or just better filters instead. So it's quite obvious that was an excuse Rockstar made to try and lock a lot of these older popular vehicles behind event weeks and even worse, GTA Plus for current gen via the new Vinewood Car Club. Now to clarify, if you already own one of these cars, it will not be removed from your garage. You just can't normally buy these cars anymore. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video just showing every possible way to acquire these removed cars from the websites. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. So every single method to get these cars. So starting off with the methods that work for old gen, which is PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And then we'll work our way to the methods that only work for current gen. So again, starting off with old gen, you're pretty much at the mercy of the event weeks changing every Thursday and sometimes it won't even be cars that were removed. So the first two possible methods are of course the Casino Podium and the LS Car Meet Prize Ride. So at the time of this recording, unfortunately, the two for this current event week are not cars that were removed. So in this case, you're gonna have to hope next week is one of those cars that were removed. Continuing to the third method, we have the LS Car Meet Test Ride Cars. So you can actually go up to these and buy them. And for example, during this current event week at the time of this recording, the Verlier and the GP1 cars were removed. So if you don't own either one of these, that would probably be your best chance to pick them up. Continuing to our fourth method, we have the dealerships. So we have luxury autos, and of course we have Simeons. And at Simeons during this event week, the Landstalker XL is in there, and was in fact a removed vehicle as well. Plus it has a discount this week, so, so there's an opportunity to get that one. Next up, on to our fifth method for old gen. It is the auto shop business. So for those of you who don't own one, you're going to want to pick this business up from the Maze Bank foreclosure site and make sure you install the extra car lift upgrade, which will increase your chances. And just like the test ride, you can actually go up to these customer cars and buy them. Now, not every removed car will spawn in here, but a lot of them do. And of course, if you want these two cars to change, you're going to have to deliver these customer cars and then wait for the next set to spawn in. And you can see, for example, that I have the Riata here, which was in fact a removed vehicle. Continuing to our sixth method, this one is especially useful for motorcycles. We have the Motorcycle Clubhouse business. So for those of you who don't own one, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the Maze Bank foreclosure site and purchase a clubhouse and make sure that you install the custom bike shop upgrade and one customer motorcycle will be delivered at a time here and of course you can go up to it and buy it. And just like the auto shop, if you want this bike to change, you're going to need to deliver this customer motorcycle and then wait for the next one to spawn in. And lastly, we have our seventh method, the OG method for street cars that were removed. So cars like the Oracle, regular Fudo, Ruiner, etc. were removed. However, obviously you can still steal these off the street and store them in your garage. However, hot cars like the Coquette, OG Comet, etc., which I believe hot cars qualify, I think it has to be 100,000 or more. Um, those cannot be brought into your garage or custom shop because they're considered too hot to modify. So in this case, you're gonna have to rely on the other methods that I mentioned. And of course, the other route you can go is utilizing glitches. So like gift cards to friends glitches and all that type of stuff. But of course, do those at your own risk. Now, moving on to the methods that only work for current gen, which is PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. So obviously we have all the other methods I just mentioned. Plus, the biggest one is the LS Car Meet buying feature from other players. So if you have a friend that owns a particular car that you want that was removed, you can actually buy it from them in the LS Car Meet legitimately. So you just need to make sure that their HSW specification service setting is set to yes, then you can go up to their car and buy it. So this is especially useful if you're in a large Discord server or any large community 
where you can ask others in there if they own a car that you happen to be looking for, and then you guys can just meet up in game and buy it there. All right, then our last option for current gen, which I don't recommend, is the new Vinewood Car Club. This one is located at the docks. Anyone can go in there. However, you can only buy vehicles in there if you have a GTA Plus membership, which is about $6 US per month. And for this week, Rockstar actually put in there the Sterling GT, the Seminole Frontier, and the RE7B, which were in fact removed cars. So what they've done is put a membership paywall to buy some of the removed cars, which is quite ridiculous. But at least we still have the LS car meet buying feature for current gen, which is the biggest saving grace of all of this. But of course, if you're on old gen, it, it is kind of a mess and kind of BS if I'm being honest. And don't forget guys, every event week video, I will be covering what cars change at the LS car meet, test ride, dealerships, etc. like I usually do. However, I will be letting you know which ones from those are actually removed cars every week. So definitely be sure to stay tuned to the event week series for that every Thursday. So anyways guys, I know this change Rockstar made is very annoying, uncalled for, and with the uproar the community has had over this, all we can do is hope Rockstar reverts this change, but I honestly really doubt it if I'm being honest. They're obviously trying to push shark card sales via FOMO, fear of missing out, and of course the GTA memberships with the Vinewood Car Club thing. So that's why I've compiled these methods to try and help you guys out, um, but that's the best we can do at this moment in time. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Again, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.